Hey guys, the former president of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, has urged Nigerians to support the government of President Bola Tinubu. This was stated in a press statement issued by Garabashew, an aide to the former president on Tuesday. The statement urged citizens to support Tinubu's government to succeed and meet social economic challenges. The statement reads, The former President Muhammad Buhari has sent his best wishes to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on the completion of his first year in office. The former President appealed to all citizens to continue to strengthen the thread of national unity and goodwill. He also appealed to them to give their blessings and support to the Tinubu administration so that it can succeed. He also appealed to them to give their blessings and support to the Tinubu administration so that he can succeed in his efforts to build a Nigeria of our dreams. President Muhammad Buhari expressed his wish for a successful tenure in office by the Tinubu administration. Sahara reporters had reported how a former House of Representatives member, Kusman Bougaji, said President Tinubu's administration had been a tragedy to Nigerians. Bougaji, during a recent interview with Chinese television's Politics Today, said President Tinubu's government had not solved a single problem in Nigeria, but created more problems than it met. He described Tinubu's government as a, a grouping in the dark, adding that it was unfortunate that Nigeria had no metrics to evaluate governance and compare leaders to scientifically uh, present their achievements to people. Meanwhile, these have generated reactions from Nigerians. Nigerians supported you massively, but you mess up. Devils incarnate has spoken. Then suppose white people come up for here. Hmm. They never arrest this one. So that we will be buried finally, Abi. We will be very buried finally. See who is advising Nigerian so a blind man showing those that can see the way. Hmm. Where is Buhari? Who is Buhari? A useless and heartless person. Buhari and Tinubu is a five and six. Only God can judge those two people for suffering innocent, poorest Nigerians. These are reactions from Nigerians and they are still talking. Look at the personal talking. Look at the person talking. Did you ever allow the former president, Gulob Jonathan, to govern? The only thing both of you deserve now is insult. Think of current hardship. The dog are responsible. Sir, it's like you don't say Tinubu is already blaming you for his failure. God will punish him for saying that after putting us in this mess. Please, which version of Buhari is this? I prefer Tinubu hardship beings than Buhari ten times. You spoil this country, finish. Give me three reasons why God will not deal with you. My blessings to Tinubu so that there will be more suffering for Nigerians Abi, to Fiakwa. So that he can finish us easily, Abi. Coolest people. You are the genesis of the problem Nigeria is going through. Buhari should just keep quiet. No, put ma put mouth not put mouth in our lives. No, no use us. Okay, I can't really get that. Leave us alone. Don't be too hard on the former president Muhammad Buhari for his statement. You know, he's always aware of the situations in Nigeria, even when he wants he was the president. See, the truth is that no matter how you keep insulting him, he has said what he has said, though. 
and there is nothing anybody can do about it. But come to think of it, what do you expect him to say? He should say you should not support him. No, no. He can only tell you to support the government. You know. That is the truth. Even when Nigerians are, they are crying like this and this and that, they will tell you, support the president, support the government is doing well. He will do well. He will do well, they will tell you. We are in trouble. I always say this. When you have a problem and you are not aware you have a problem, that means you have a bigger problem. The problem will just buy with you like that because you are not aware of it. But when you have a problem and you are aware that you have a problem, the problem is already half solved. Our leaders, whether than they pretend to, they seem not to be aware that they have a problem, that the country have a problem. For the president to come and tell us that the country is no longer bleeding since he assumed office as the Nigerian president, meaning that we have a bigger problem, meaning that the president is not aware of what is going on, even with all this problem of hardship here and there in Nigeria today. So that is why I said there are bigger problems on ground. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.